Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. It's currently 11 o'clock at night, and I was going to make a video on this earlier and upload it today, but I've kind of already posted twice. So, uh, you're getting this video tomorrow. So if it sounds like I'm talking in present tense, it's because I filmed this video the day before it was actually posted. So, yeah. Anyway, we actually knew about this set for a bit, but we finally got some pictures of the new Claudine Wolf Fashion Studio for G3. Uh, this is pretty interesting. Claudine comes with a bunch of different outfits, pretty much. That's it. <laughs> so with that, we're going to discuss the stock photos, where the doll will be available, and what she will cost momentarily. Real quick, I just want to tell you guys that I am selling some Monster High dolls on Mercari. If you are interested in that, uh, please check it out. Link in the description of this video. And uh, yeah, with that, let us start talking about Claudine. So this is the box for the fashion studio. Um, basically, it's going to be available on Amazon. It'll be an Amazon exclusive, so for those of you who live internationally, you just have to wait for Amazon to stock it. They haven't stocked it in the US, from what I know. I don't even think that there is a listing for it on Amazon right now. I've seen people sharing these pictures. Um, I first saw them from the Dolly Olds on Instagram, and I have no idea where they came from. This set is set to cost 45 US dollars. I don't know how much that'll be internationally. But I know it's always more for you guys, so sorry in advance. That is if you even like this thing, because opinions are very split. Um, I personally will be giving my opinion, and I'm indifferent. This set reminds me of I Heart Fashion in the way that it's three different outfits themed around one character. But the thing is... G3 is so new that Claudine doesn't really have a set in stone style, and I think that's what explains that explains why this doll looks as messy as she does. So this picture shows everything that she comes with. We get five hangers, a number of accessories, seems like there's two necklaces, multiple bracelets, earrings, uh, the same brush she comes with on her basic doll but in a different color, a purse that says Howl, a belt, a bucket hat, Two shirts, she comes wearing a, what do you call that? It looks like that shit mechanics wear. I don't, a jumpsuit? Yeah, I think it's a jumpsuit. Um, a sweater vest, a dress, a skirt, a boa, kind of. A little scarf for her neck, three different pairs of shoes, a vanity, a adorable coffin, like, hanger rack. Rack, that's the, that's the word. That coffin rack is so cute and a stool for her to sit on. So the cool thing about this set is that, you know, furniture. The addition of furniture is pretty cute. This basically just seems like Claudine's closet. I feel like they could have called it that and it would have been like, would have made sense. It's a very cute set overall. This is how one way you can arrange it. It's really cute. But it comes down to the fashion. The outfit on the right is really cute. I like it. But the outfit on the left just feels like there's too much going on. That sweater vest would be adorable with a shorter pleated skirt. Like, it just has like this nerdy schoolgirl look and it's really cute, but it's just not styled correctly here. The same argument could be made for pretty much every piece in the outfit on the left, like the glasses with the bucket hat and just everything going on. It just feels like too much. So I totally get why people don't like this set. In my opinion, it comes back to what I was saying about how G3 is so new, it doesn't feel like they've quite ironed out what this version of Claudine likes to wear and what her fashion is. Because these outfits, the pieces, like, you can interchange them, mix and match them around in a way that'll work. You just might need to bring in other pieces because some of these things just don't match with each other, I guess. Overall, it's an interesting set. That's what I'm trying to say. It's cute. Uh, some of my favorite pieces, uh, you can because you can see all of them here, some of my favorite pieces are um, the shoes that she's wearing in the outfit on the left. Those purple heels, those are really cute. I like the little um, black shirt with the phases, the moons, and a little howling wolf in the middle. Kind of reminds me of the wolf sweater that she had on I Heart Fashion in G1. I like the bucket hat. Like, I do like the bucket hat. It's kind of cute. Overall, though, I just, I feel like it comes down to how you style these pieces. 
I don't think the whole set is a flop. Like, it's possible to mix and match these pieces in a way that looks appealing. You just don't really see that done here. Like, she's got those really cute high boots. I think those would go really well with the sweater vest, but there's no bottoms that fit that sweater vest, because the only option is that skirt. And that skirt is simply too long. If it was shorter, it would work so much better with the sweater vest. Do you get what I'm saying? <sighs> I don't know. I think that's another thing G3 does too much. They keep making the skirts just too long. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it was cuter when we had like more mini skirts with G1 of Monster High. Sorry my voice keeps cracking, by the way. It gets like this when I'm tired. I just wanted to make this video so I have something to just upload tomorrow. And I can spend the whole day doing whatever I want. It'll be like having a day off. So. Overall, the set is cute. I do wish that they would start playing around with Claudine's hair color more. Because these colors are pretty much always going to be Polly, <laughs> I think. It would be nice if we could get, like, a fully brunette Claudine, because then, most likely, they would use Saran. Because, you know, there's no reason to look for a shade of brown Polly when you could just pick some Saran. It feels nicer. It lasts longer. You don't need to flat iron it to tame it. You can just boil wash it. I know you can boil wash Polly, but... I've just, I've heard that sometimes it doesn't work, and I'm, I'm unlucky, so I'm worried that, for me, that'll happen. <laughs> uh. Overall, the set is cute. I would like to see them give other characters a playset like this. I think it'd be really cute. If they gave one of these to Frankie, holy shit, can you imagine how good that would be? I've already, I've said it multiple times, I'll say it again, G3 Frankie is the best iteration of Frankie, just because their fashion is so good. Like, G3 Frankie has some serious looks. That's not to say G1 Frankie was the worst or anything. I love G1 Frankie. Like, Frankie has some amazing dolls in G1. But so far, G3 Frankie is carrying this entire revive, like reboot on their back. I almost called it a revival. That's what the alumni releases are. That's a revival. This is a reboot. So G3 Frankie is carrying this generation on their back. Can you imagine how good a closet for them would be? Same thing with Draculaura. If those two got fashion closets like this, it would be incredible. But with Claudine, I don't feel like she was, like, they have a good enough grasp on how they want her to dress. And that's why this set came out looking the way it does. Feels a bit jumbled, a bit messy, but things can be mixed around. You can make them fit any way you want. And you'll end up with something that is probably good. Something that you like at the very least, and that's what's important, pretty much. I'm just trying to be positive here, because I really don't hate this set. I've seen a lot of people say that it's ugly, and like, that's fair. That's your opinion. I'm not gonna like, invalidate it or anything. But I see potential here. You know? I don't know. <laughs> I ramble too much in these videos. I mean, I guess I do make these videos just to get my thoughts on these things in order. That's pretty much the main point of them. But yeah, overall, I think it's a cute set. Every piece has potential in its own way, and I'm excited to get my hands on it and see what I can do. The doll herself is cute, too. I feel like I've barely actually talked about the base Claudine doll. This one's cute. Um, I like the side part. The pink lips are cute. It's a really nice color. They're much brighter in the stock photos than they are on the box, though. Makes me wonder which one is final. Also, Claudine's box art is still, like, really ugly. <laughs> Why do they draw her like that? But, yeah, that about does it. So, overall, what do you guys think of this set? Uh, feel free to comment your thoughts below. And, as always, thank you all so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye! If you watched this far into the video, um, congratulations. I don't have ads to read for you. But I can tell you something pretty cool. I have a friend who found Twyla. He was one of the first people to find her. And I asked him if he went back to that Walmart, if he could pick one up for me. And he did. And I paid him. And he sent her out today. So I'm gonna get 
creepover party Twyla pretty soon. I'm very excited about that. I've been wanting her, like, ever since we saw the pictures. And, good lord, dude, my the Walmarts in my area are so bad. They only put out G3 recently. It's almost the end of October, and their release date was October 1st, and they only just started putting them out now. Like, that's how bad it is. They take forever to put things out. They only started putting out Costume Ball Rainbow High, like, really recently, too. It takes them forever to do stuff, pretty much. It took them, like, well over a month to put out the Rainbow Divas. Like, damn, dude. So, very grateful to that friend. That's all. Just know that you can expect a Twilight review from me decently soon, whenever I get her. Bye!